Let's check audio really quick. Hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice Thank to have you. you one more time. Welcome, welcome. This is Tuesday. We have another beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to see you. We have Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, some scry. It's nice to see you one more time. Me too. And um, we're going to keep working on this module, okay, uh, which is pre-advanced English, okay, module number one. Let me show you uh, what this is going to be about. Just give me a minute. Uh, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. Oh, okay, okay, let's see. We're going to keep working with section number one, as you may see on the screen. Yes, we're going to work with classes with it and when. Uh, this is pre-advanced English module number one, and this is class number two. Yes. Okay, uh, Carla, good evening. <laughs> okay, yes. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your food. Okay, welcome. It's, it's nice to have you, everybody. Yes, I'm looking at your faces and everybody looks happy and ready to learn. It's wonderful. Yes, right. On this Tuesday, okay, it's somehow hot, right? It's not raining. That's why I guess it's, it's hot today. We have a warm day today. Don't forget the attendance. I will take the attendance like in the middle of the class at um 8.30. And also don't forget that you gotta uh, do the exercises that you have in the platform, right? Uh, over there, you have a bunch of exercises that you need to do. Uh, section number one and section number two, that's gonna be for this coming Thursday. So everything um should be done by that time okay so my suggestion is please uh, sure. go, ahead, go ahead and do it excuse me sorry and i have issue in the platform in the 1.4 exercise but i don't know because i try to do a lot of a lot of time but the exercise is but I don't know why. Okay, so when you're trying to answer, the answers that you're writing are not uh, the, the correct ones. Yes. Okay, can you like take a screenshot and send it here on the on the Zoom uh, group okay. that we have so I can check that? I will check that later. So that means I will answer to you uh, tomorrow. Okay, Marlene, uh, with that. Yes, so I need to check the exercise. Um, and then I can help you out with that, okay? Okay, but in this moment, I can share or before? Oh, uh, yeah, if you have the chance, you can you can do it, right? So, but okay. the, my answer will be like later. Or if, if there is one classmate that can help you with it, okay. that will be good as well, okay? In that exercise. This one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me check. I, don't know why I tried a lot of times, uh -huh. but <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, let me check. Did you did you send the picture? No, yes. I shared in the screen. Okay. Because I, I don't oh there we go. Um no I don't have it. Okay. Uh, okay, please send send the, the screenshot of, of the exercise so we can help you with that. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, we're going to have this information here. Are you difficult to please? Oh, question for you, Christian. What is Christian? Page five. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, no. Okay. Give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Good evening. Nice to have you. Welcome. Uh, the question that you see here on the top, are you difficult to please? Okay, uh, just to make sure, uh, do you want to 
I can read it or oh, no? No, just sorry. answer answer the question, please. Thank you. Okay. Um. Actually. Um. Yeah. I can understand some things in here. Um. Actually, I was reading here in the first sentence. I can understand it when a child is screaming in the restaurant. And for me, wow, well, that's really hard and I can understand it. And, and some things in, in different places are really difficult to me. <laughs> You're mute. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so that's very nice of you. Um, Thank you. Blanca, do you see this boy here, Blanca, here on the screen? Okay, Karen and also Michelle. Yes. Okay, so can you please, Blanca, tell me, what is the boy doing here in the picture? He, the boy is screaming. Screaming? Okay. Yes. What is another way of saying that in English? Another way? Mm, I don't know, teacher. Okay, somebody, I know please. That way. Somebody uh, yelling, help her. Yelling, teacher. Yelling, okay, very good. So he's yelling, very good. What else? We have another option. Yes. He, uh, the the uh, the little boy is upset, maybe. Mm, yeah, right. But like, oh. it's, screaming was saying the the girl, right? So uh, something that is similar to that one, that begins with Peter. S. The verb begins with S. Maybe the the boy is irritated. Yes, somehow, yes. But in the context that uh, your classmate Blanca was saying at the beginning, we have a verb that goes with S at the beginning. Okay. Um, shout. Exactly, Sarah. Thank you so much. Right? Shout. Okay. So the boy is shouting. Very good. That's good. Yes. Um. Now, question for you, Jose Alvarenga. Would this, would these annoy you like when you see a, a like a little boy or a little girl shouting like pretty high right <laughs> would this would this annoy you i don't understand the question teacher okay okay so this boy here in the picture is is shouting right or is yelling yes yes so would would this I know you like this situation I know you like okay maybe I consider my my son it's possible my son scream for me it's silent please uh, maybe buy a, a sweet <laughs> Yes, take it easy, son. <laughs> that's right, right? If not, something bad, right? Something bad will happen to you, right? You can say that. Yes, if that's your son, right? That's very yes. good. Thank you so much. Yes, what about you, uh, Carla, Selena? What is your opinion about, uh, let's say, this boy is like yelling, right? Or, or shouting. And would this annoy you? Yes. Why? Because sometimes maybe I interrupt my conversation with the other people. For example, when I talk. Thank you so much for sharing that. Here we have the word annoyed. Do you understand the meaning of this thing? Do you get annoyed easily? Okay. Do you understand this vocabulary here? It's something like, like, um, si me enojo facilmente. Exactly. Right. Gets to your nerve, or maybe you get mad when you like, like, see this this kind of behaviors. Very good. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check this one. Okay. Um. Listen. I will play the audio for these common complaints 
Uh, and I need you to check the ones that you agree and the ones that maybe you are don't like, agree, right? Yes. So the first thing is just check the ones you agree with, that you will say, oh, I agree with this. Okay. Let's listen. Page five, exercise eight, perspectives. Are you difficult to please? Part A, listen to some common complaints. Check the ones you agree with. Do you get annoyed easily? Take the quiz and find out. I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. I can't stand it when I'm upset and people tell me to calm down. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. I don't like it when someone takes the last cookie without asking. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning on the weekend just to chat. It bothers me when a friend answers the phone at the dinner table. I hate it when people text the message, call me. Score. If you checked one to two complaints, wow, you don't get annoyed very easily. Three to four complaints, you're fairly easygoing. Five to six complaints, you get irritated pretty easily. Seven to eight complaints, relax, you get upset too easily. Okay, now, uh, yeah, what about this score? Okay, how much? How much do you have? Like, what's your score on that one? Like, one or two complaints? Two, three, um, four, I'm sorry, three and four? Five or six? Or seven and eight? Tell me. Uh, Marlene. Five and six. Five and six. <laughs> it's because I love. Oh, no. you, don't, you don't have children, uh, Marlene? Yes, I have two. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Tell me. Uh, tell me about it. How old are they? My um, old children has 13 years old. Oh. And my little girl has two years old. Okay. So, is, right? Is. Is. Okay. Yeah. And it's so difficult. It's so stressful all the day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. I hope that you can okay. have one, at least one day of rest, right? So yeah. you can stay calm and everything. And thank you so much. That is difficult. Yeah. I mean, really that is one of the difficult things. And also being at home in charge of like your children is heavy. Yes, like because for me, it's I easy to work. Different of, of, como se dice, de la edad. Oh, like uh, behaviors, ages. Yeah. Ages, yes, Marlene. For me, for me, okay, I don't know if you agree. For me, it's easy to work instead of like taking care of children. Okay, <laughs> that's that's what I think. That's what I think. It's easy for me to go to my job and work that taking mm -hmm. care of children, I guess. Okay, I don't know. Um, let's say, uh, what's your opinion about it, Oscar? What do you think about it? What do you think? Like, it is easy for you to stay at home with your children or um, it is better to go to work? Oh, I think Oscar. Oh, I'm sorry, Oscar. I'm sorry. Okay. I... Yeah, he's just listening here. Also, Karen and also Michelle. Okay. What about you, uh, Roberto? What's, what's your opinion about it? What do you think? Uh, about the... About children? like taking care of children. Is that easy or difficult? Uh, I think it's very difficult, you know, because uh, I don't have uh, a little boys, you know, but I was, you know, in the past. <laughs> In the past, I, I, I changed that. You were like this, but okay. <laughs> yeah. I, and I remember when I, I went to change the diapers. Okay, okay. And, and you know what, what I hate when, for example, the, the letter, the, the number one, 
I can't stand when the child is screaming in the restaurant. Oh, yes. But this happened with my boy a long time ago. Oh. He and he did you it. Know, that, that was, you know, terrible for me because uh, everybody looking at me and like, uh, what, 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 what the hell are you going to do? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. And also yeah. they were like recording, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I tried to 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 to, to come down, you know, and uh, I take my little boy to the restroom. But imagine, I... imagine for the mom is a big big work because the mom is the unique person that controls the situation. Yeah, that's All right. The time. Yeah. So that's, that's for me, I think that that's that is that is so difficult. Yes. And and Marlena, you have a like a big job, you know, you have a lot of job to do with your boys, you know. <laughs> yeah. to, to children is easy for me. I work with the children all the day in my in my in the school i i try with the parents the teachers <laughs> children <laughs> so you are you are a teacher uh, jenny no i am i'm babysitter in oh you're a babysitter oh yes so yeah. oh how is that about is, is it difficult or like um she, tell me she it's, has, it's difficult she has experience <laughs> it's a lot difficult of but is um, gratifying okay rewarded because because, because the children is so lovely funny when the children uh, is my with me i have um i i feel so happy because i think i i do a great job Oh, that's very nice. That's very sweet, right? Yeah, yeah. Hearing your voice like telling me that. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah, so that means that you love it. Yes, thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Yes, so uh just we'll get back to um uh, uh let me see. Uh Roberto, right? No chancletazos over there, right? In that oh, scenario yeah. that you were having. <laughs> yeah. Uh and the end, you know, I tried to talk with him and I, and I say, listen to me, please. <laughs> Don't do that. And, mm. and I smack the, the, the pump, you know? Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. With and, your hand. <laughs> yeah, with my hand. Yeah. You yeah. Know, not like a crazy, you know, just like... Just, just to one. communicate the message, right? Just to let yeah. him know, like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come down, but... That yeah, it. that's that's a yeah, really that, nice experience. That, yeah, that's that's crazy when 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 that happens, you know. In public, yes, that's yeah, true. In public, um, yeah, it's 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 somehow like difficult to deal with. Yes, it's not it's not like the decisions like you take. It's like yeah, but okay, because if you try to 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 gel in or to, you try to to hit the boy. Uh, that's you're gonna you're gonna be in trouble you know maybe they're gonna call the police or maybe they they're gonna call the Make security a TikTok. yes a uh, TikTok maybe video. yeah mm. <laughs> maybe they're gonna, uh, 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 take a video and so yeah, yeah so true. you have to you, you have to keep your head up you know yeah that. that's true that's true right so maybe you apply number one and number two right yes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. Uh Sarah, Elisa, please tell me. Um which one of these like bothers people the most? Like for you, you say, Oh, I think this one bothers people the most. See, one, two, three, four, and I don't know, with the eight. Uh I think the First one, and also when um, when a friend answers the phone at the dinner table, I think it's like, uh, how can I say, maleducación? Uh, like misbehave? 
Yeah. Um, when you are um, eating and something is, someone, sorry, someone is texting or using the cell phone, I think that, um, that it really uh, upsets me. And I, I don't like it. Yes, that's all right. That's true. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, we're going to uh, move on with um, these questions. Okay, question uh, for you. Let me see. Um, Carla, question number one, please. Read the question and then answer the question. Thank you. Okay. What kind of people do you like or don't you like? I don't yeah. Uh, I don't like the people when I suddenly talk with the other person, when I talk with two people, for example, or when I res in respect mm, my opinion, when I, I am talk talking. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Giovanni Stanley Flores, number two, please read the question and then answer. Thank you. What kind of people would you prefer to meet or know? Hmm. Uh, actually, I so love to talk with all people. I love that. <laughs> I believe that uh, they are able to give me pieces of advice and and I've enjoyed it. Try to listen to their stories and, and telling me different things that they are lived in their lives and, and I enjoyed it to talk with them. I don't know why, probably because I it's so happy for me to to see them when they show their expression and they feel so so good saying that unto me. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh Marlene, thank you. Number three please read the question and answer. Thank you. Mm. What is the ideal friend like? Name one positive and one negative quality. Mm. I don't know what is the ideal friend like. I mean, let's pretend like, uh, that, that uh, you got one. My ideal friend like is maybe like me because uh, I am uh, really. Small. I am. Maybe, what? maybe Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yes, yes that's true right that's true yeah. the same like me because he like she like to dance she like to we are crazy we are crazy and it's because he's my ideal friend like, oh, so that, now now tell me now tell me one negative thing yeah um because nobody's perfect right yes but i i think that she didn't have she doesn't have negative quality. She doesn't. Okay. She doesn't have okay, perfect. negative quality. Thank you so much. And uh, let me see. Oh, Neftali. Hello, Neftali. Let me check if you can participate. Yes, Neftali. Yeah. Good uh -huh. evening. Nice to meet you. Let Thank me you. Me Question me number four, me. please. The camera teacher. Excuse me? No, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Neftali, please read question number four yeah. and answer question number four. Thank you. Okay. Did you get annoyed easily? Uh, no, I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I respond that. <laughs> no, that, that's okay. Oh, what I you think, can do is... I think, yeah, I mean, all depends... You, could be the, the, the situation, could be. Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. That's wonderful. So you stay calm, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to watch a video related to the topic. So what I want you to do is listen and take some notes. Um, Let's listen and watch. If you don't hear the audio, let me know so I can fix that. Okay. Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. 
So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. right? So a uh, quick example, I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There I just express the likes and dislikes and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that I'm going to use expressions such as I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary. Okay. Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well. Um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you. This could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I could say I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say I don't mind it. All right. Okay. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation, and you might say, "I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment." And that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it, so you could like it, or you could love it, um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Um, the examples that I gave earlier were I so let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm going to say I like it when. Friends give me gifts for my birthday. Okay, so this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. 
Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. Thank you so much. So uh, there we got, which is um, the information about the grammar content that we have for today, right? It's not something like pretty much big, right? So uh, we just need to like figure it out. How do we deal with it so we can use it um, according to the things? The main idea is to communicate something that you like or something that you dislike. Yeah, that's the main purpose of it. Uh, I'm going to take the attendance right now. Um, so please, if you're here, say present or I'm here. Then when I finish, I will check the chat on soon because I, I I got some of your classmates that are here, but you are they are just uh, listening in the class. Okay. So um, thank you. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Presente. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Okay, let me check. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, thank you. So it isn't right. What about Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar? I'm here. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. What about Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez? I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. I think. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. I think. Let me see. Okay. Villanueva. Hello, hello. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. No, she isn't. Okay. Carla Selena Hernández Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. María Jos Santos López López. María Santos López López. Hello. Good evening. No, she isn't. Okay, okay. What about Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. No, she isn't. Okay. Natalie and I'm sorry, Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. And I'm sorry, Nestali. Okay, nice to have you. Welcome. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. I think. Okay, I will check the chat later. Okay, thank you. Now she is in Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Oscar, I think Oscar sent me a message. Yes, very good. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Robert. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Thank good you. evening. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much and good evening. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Good evening. Nice to have you. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. And let me check Oscar, Karen, Elizabeth Bernal. Just let me check that one really quick. Um, okay, yes. What about what about Michelle Beatriz Diaz? Um Okay. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, but she isn't here anymore. I think she was here, but not anymore. Michelle, are you here? Michelle, no, she isn't. I think she left. Okay, so let's carry on uh, with this one. Right? We're working with this one. Um, let's take a look of uh, this. Here we have the it classes, okay? Pretty much is like a phrase, right? That's what we have. Plus the adverbial class, classes with when. 
So it's like we have two sentences and we combine them together to communicate something. That's pretty much the whole thing. And the structure is with it. So you can say, I like it. I don't mind it. Yes, I can stand it. And here we have it at the beginning. It makes me happy. It bothers me. It upsets me. So the idea is this phrase goes with it, right? Probably we can have it here like this one, okay? Or we can have it here at the beginning. And then in the middle, we have the expression when, yes? And then we say the rest, right? So it's like, I like it when my roommate claims the apartment, yep. So I use when, and then I add the rest of the idea. So I combine the two together so I can say that something like um, uh, I like it, right? Or something that I don't like it or annoys me somehow. Yeah, right. So this is the structure uh, that we use. And we use these phrases, as you may see, right? If something like you like or if, if you don't like it, okay? Or like something that annoys you somehow, yes? Or something that, I don't know, gives you joy, yeah? Or something that like bothers you or upsets you, right? And then when, and then the rest, okay? Um, Sara Belloso, please read this information here, please. Thank you. In sentence with an it clause plus an abbreviated clause with when, the word it refers to an means, and means, sorry, the same as the adverbial clause with when. The it in these sentences is necessary and cannot be left out. I hate I hate it when people talk on a cell phone in an elevator. Not I have, not I have, I hate, sorry, when people, it bothers me when people talk on a cell phone in an elevator and not bothers me when people. Thank you so much, Asara. Okay, what is telling like um, this like information here is just don't forget this little thing that is it. Yes, in, in those phrases, because you need to have it. Yeah, whenever you, you use these phrases, you gotta have this uh, pronoun, which is it. Yes, just to complete the idea. Yep, Um. let's have some practice uh, on this one. Here we have the sentences. Okay, uh, so we write the sentences using the words in parentheses. In parentheses, right, we have some phrases like, it really bothers me, I hate it, it doesn't bother me, uh, it embarrasses me, I love it, and it obsesses me. So here we are sharing, like, communicating, like, about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the sentences, like, for example, number one, I can't stand it when people call me before 8 a.m. <laughs> this is good. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I can't stay with someone called me before 8. Oh, um, like the alarm clock, right? Yes. And then we can say, it really bothers me when people call me before 8. So we are going to write the sentence and I'm going to use the information in parentheses. Yeah. So I'm going to substitute, right? The vocabulary, pretty much. Yes. Right. Uh, Lino, let's work with number two, please. Only read. It, oh, it, no, give me the answer, please. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Me. I hate it. When I don't have. Enough time. To study a term, a, a, a term, exam. Thank you. For an exam. Okay, look at this one, right? So, this is the way we have it, right? I hate it when I don't have enough time to study for an exam. Yes, so what I do is I, I have here, if you say it obsesses me, what I do is I substitute, right? I, I use yes. this one 
in here and I'd say, I, I, I hate it. Yes, when. Remember that this phrase goes together, it attests me. So when I substitute, right, I do it like the full, the three words. Yes, so I can use the other three here instead of the, the, that one, okay? Yes, perfect. Um, Selena, thank you. Number three. It doesn't bother me. Okay, give me a minute. It doesn't. Oh my gosh. It doesn't bother me. When friends talk to me. Oh, friends talk to me. About their problems. Is that true? Their problems. Is that true? Yeah. Are you a nice like are you are you a, like a hearing person? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Selena. Yeah, is this true? Yeah, like, is this like related to your life? Somehow it doesn't bother me when friends talk to me about the problems. Yes, oh, we have a psycho. No, it's not in this one. Psychologist. No, we don't have one here. Okay, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, you see, it's, it's not a. Uh, I'm like, I have everything right. You just need to like change the phrases pretty much uh, and then to go with it then we have the number four the number four is um let me check really quick the chat i'm soon uh -huh. hello jenny good evening how are you you good good evening teacher thank you number uh, three please it embarrasses me I'm sorry, number four. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, give me a minute. Okay, you tell me it. Okay. Uh, and this is very long. Okay. Uh, it embarrasses when, me. When I forget. I forget. Very good. A co workers. A co workers. Nice. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, right? Uh, yeah. Sometimes we tend to do that. Okay. They say their names and then, excuse me, what was, what was your name? Yeah. Okay. What's your name again? I yeah. Forget. Exactly. Sorry. Right? Sometimes... <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That happens sometimes. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. Um, what about number five? Mm -hmm. What do we have in number five? Oh, this one is good. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. This is a piece of cake, right? With coffee. Yeah, delicious but not nutritious. Thank you. Teacher, could I do that? Oh, please. Go ahead. Okay. I love it when my friends send me videos. Oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want <love> their trips. <laughs> and you're at work, right? I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. My friends. Um I just send me uh, videos some friends send me videos about their babies right about the children oh they say to me oh look at this new baby okay oh, or look okay. at this mm, or, or, or about, about okay. their dogs exactly yes yes, yes. Uh, yesterday a friend sent me sent me a video about um her dog and uh, on whatsapp do you know whatsapp this um uh, option that they have that they can send videos short videos like tiny yes. videos yeah, and I was like, why are you sending me this? Okay, it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, but that, that's what they do, right? That's what they do. Okay. Um, Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Olga. Number six. Thank you. Okay. It upset me. Okay. I hate it when I have to wait for someone. Okay, come again, please. It upset me. I hate it when I have to wait for someone. Okay, Olga, you, you changed the phrase, I hate it, 
you change it for it upsets me. So you don't need that phrase anymore. Okay. Okay, so can you start again, please? It suits me. I have no. to wait for someone. No, we need to use the, 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 like, the expression when. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. It suits me when I have there to wait go. for someone. Oh, is that true? Sorry, teacher. No, that's okay. No problem. We're practicing, right? That's good. I love it because remember, this is about practicing. Yes, so okay. don't worry. If you do mistakes, that's okay. We're going to keep practicing. That's the idea. So what about this, um, Olga? Is this true, this sentence for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, sometimes, right? Sometimes. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's yes. true. Yeah, okay. So if you see, right, it's, it's not a big deal with these things with um, it classes and when, right? So... Uh, we're sharing like things that we like and things that we don't like. Yes, uh, using other phrases. Yes, as you may know, the typical phrases, I don't like it, okay, or I like it. Yes, so here we have other phrases to say um, that I like it and also I don't like it. Can you give me some phrases that you use when you say, for example, I don't like it? Uh-huh, Marlene, you. tell me one. What is another way of saying, I don't like it? I don't like it when I have to wait for. Oh, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. The expression, I don't like it. What is another way of saying that? I didn't like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, you did it. Fast. I don't like it. <laughs> no, I mean, I always say I don't like it, right? But what is another way? Instead of saying... I hate. Oh, I hate it? Uh, uh -huh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it? What is another way? Mm. It upsets. Excuse me? I don't know, Okay. Look at the examples, Marlene. Look at the examples. Okay. Maybe what if... it upsets me. Yes. Very good. It upsets me. That is another way of saying that you don't like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another example. Mm. Bother me. Exactly. It's, okay. It bothers. it bothers me. It bothers me. Very it good. Bothers. Another way. Another way it's of saying good. that. It's good. Mm. Oh. We have it. We have it here in these examples. I need to find out what is another way. In these examples, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. They say it already. They they say that. Okay, they say that. Can add. It really bothers me. <laughs> no, no, because no, it's like related to bothers me. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> you're the only thing you're adding is an adverb, right? <laughs> just to <laughs> just to make it deep. Okay, yeah, you have it. Okay. You see, you have it in the examples. Look at for the examples and you have it uh, over there. Okay. It embarrasses me. Um, maybe. Yes, maybe. That's right. It embarrasses me. It embarrasses me. That's right. But here we have, I can, I can stand. I use this one a lot. I can stand. I can stand when people is chewing food next to me. Yeah. Sure. I have a quick question regarding that. When we say um, I can't stand, uh, is it necessary to add once again the, the adverb eat? I can stand it and, and add yes. the lapso? Okay. Oh, got yes. It. Got Remember, it. Like, like here, excuse me. Um, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Remember, like, like here in the, in the chart, here, the, the information that Sarai was reading, you see? Uh, we need it in these phrases. Yes, we need it. So that's, you see here, I can't stand it. We need it, it. Mm. And, and that's why the sí, topic is, yes, that's why the topic is it classes, like plus adverbial classes, because we need the it with these phrases, with these phrases, we need the it. Yeah, so uh, that's a nice question, Giovanni. That was very good. Oh, okay. gadget, thank you. Perfect. Oh, take a those one. This one is easy, right? Piece of game. Says match the classes in column A with the most suitable classes in B. Okay. 
So just give me the letter that goes with the number. Number one, I like it. What's the letter? Letter B. Okay, thank you. I like it when people are easygoing and friendly. Oh, thank you. What about number two? I don't mind it. I don't mind. What's the meaning of stingy, teacher? Oh, a stingy. What is the meaning of a stingy? Anybody? It's related to something that... <laughs> Like the caño, the caño. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like a key, right? Like yeah. a key, yes, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that, okay. okay? Yes. Um. Yeah, so I don't mind it. <laughs> letter D. Oh, letter D, okay, thank you. What about the number three? Letter A. A. Letter A. Okay. Letter A here. Okay. Look. And so number four, uh, that's going to be letter C, right? Yeah, it's the only one that is missed. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Um, let me check the chat really quick. I'm sorry. Um, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, and Neftali, please read the sentences and also the option that we have here. All of them, please. Thank you. Okay, I like it. V when people are is going and friendly. Oh, teacher. Okay, yes, please. Two, I don't mind it. Uh, when people are a few minutes late for an appointment, three, it upset me. And when someone criticizes me in front of other people, and four, it embarrasses me. When rich people are stingy. Okay. Thank you so much. Do we have something like wrong over here in the exercise? or everything is good. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I think, uh -huh. tell me please. The position criticize, criticize of what is. Excuse me? The position words criticizes. Oh, is he going? Uh, yes. Is he going? No, no. Letter A. Oh. Criticizes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Criticizes. Criticize. Yes, I Criticize. think, I think, very good. Criticizes. When someone criticizes me, right? Do you understand, Lino, what is criticize me? Yes. Okay. It's related to criticism, right? I think, I think, okay, for me, that number three is letter C and number four is letter A. So it upsets me when rich people are stingy, right? Stingy, okay. It embarrasses me when someone criticizes me in front of other people. Well, for me, I think these are the correct ones, okay? With three and four. Let us see. And uh, actually, it... I believe that both are right and we're able to use it in busy verses. Probably right, yes. Yep. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? It fits as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Give me a minute. Let's see what else do we got here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, look at this one. So we're going to have some sentences here, if you see. And over here, we have some pictures, right? <laughs> I love this one. Okay. I don't like it when people cut. In line, yeah, that this thing happens, right? Yeah, at selectos, that happens a lot, okay? That happens a lot, right? 
I don't like it when people cut in line. Yes. Uh, and we have these phrases here. Please, uh, Marlene, read these phrases. Thank you so much. Uh, read the... Yeah, the phrases, please. I okay. love it. I love it. It upsets me. I really like it. I can stand it. It bothers me. It makes me happy. I don't like it. I don't mind it. It makes me angry. Okay, thank you so much. Right, let's begin with uh, number two. Uh, look at the picture, Blanca. Yes, here we have the picture. Yes, tell me please, what is the sentence that we have here? Okay, it could be, it makes me happy when someone... Okay, uh, it, I'm sorry. It, okay. Yeah, okay. Makes me happy when someone gives uh, me a gift. Gives uh, me a gift, right? Yes, um, don't forget the letter S. It makes me. Uh, 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 yeah, thank you so much yes. for letting me know that. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, yeah. It makes me happy when someone gives me a gift. Is that true, right, Blanca? Yeah, that's the way you feel. That's yes. wonderful. Everybody loves presents. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Oh, what about the number, the picture number three? Okay, that is for you, uh, Lino. Please, number three. Thank you. Just give me a minute because I need to move some some stuff here. Okay, just give me a minute. Oh, Jesus. I don't. I don't like it. Okay, give me a minute. Sorry. Okay, so here we have, okay, uh, you tell me, uh, I don't like it, okay, I don't like it, but this feels good. When the... I don't like <laughs> mm -hmm. You can, you can... Excuse me. Yes. You can check. You can check number two if you want, like a hint. Yeah. Number two or number three? No, I mean you can check the answer that is in number two. So if you can have an idea how to answer the number three. I don't like it when that is correct. What is next? Okay. The people. Screen to my ears. <laughs> okay. Like this one. My ears. Oídos. Okay. To my ears. Oh my gosh! How do you spell ears? Teacher. Yes. What is the means? Uh, malaliento. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, it's like, um, oh Jesus, that's that's like I don't know. It's breath is aliento, right? Um, um yes, I don't, I don't I don't remember exactly, right? It's you can say of... it stinky, and and I don't know how do you say it aliento, no, but breathe. <laughs> Bad, bad, teacher. bad breath or stinky mm. no because stinky is like it's, it's strong yes that's that's <laughs> very offensive i guess okay I think uh, it's bad breath. Um. okay so um yeah i don't like it when when the people screams to my ear how do you spell ear i'm sorry a a e a oh. No, E, A, R, S, ears. Ears, okay, thank you. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I don't like it when the people screams to my ears. 
Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Any idea? Or do you have another common? Oh, I do that. Okay. Jesus. Because I'm checking something here. Yes, I knew it. It was a mistake here. Screams. Okay, so I don't like it when the people screams. Okay, so here's one. We're going to have S. When, pe when the people scream to my ears. Yeah, that's good for me. Yeah. Any comment about this one? Um, also remember that when you don't know like the, the person or, yeah, so you can use someone, okay, or somebody. Yes, just to communicate. I don't like it when, with somebody or when someone. Yes, you can use uh, those. Yes, pronouns. Somebody or someone when you don't know the person. Okay, and and this is the way we do this ones. With we we say I don't like something or I like something. Uh, it's time to go to bed. Yes, uh, thank you so Teacher, much. For being here. Yes, I have a quick question regarding to the homework uh, that we need to work on the platform. I remember that you said that we have um an schedule right regarding that. And I I could hear that you said until Thursday. Yes, uh, I'm not sure. That's right. Okay, and we have a time probably uh. At Nine I think it's morning. like Thursday, like 12, like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Good>. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Good night, Thank people. You. See you tomorrow. Take care. You too.